You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm, Mm, Smells smells like like freedom. freedom. Dan, what do you got going on over there? A good weekend? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, The home show? uh, Home show? It was nice. Everything's good. Home Expo. Yeah, it was good. Home Expo. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay. Get it right, Dan. Come okay, on. All right, okay, okay. Can you believe it? Believe what? Still around, still kicking, still amazing. Uh, the the creator of probably one of the finest American films ever, ever. And I'm talking, of course, about Blazing Saddles. Mel oh, yeah. Mel Brooks is 95 and today. And I love him. He's fantastic. He's got a really good sense of humor. He does. 95. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't remember ever seeing anything he's done where I don't go. <laughs> That was brilliant. That's that's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, actress Kathy Bates is seventy three. I like today. her too. There you go. Well, let's try this one on for size. <laughs> Multi cajillionaire, entrepreneur, all around, really kind of uh, wow, interesting guy. Uh, also owns the band uh, Tesla. Elon Musk is fifty today. <laughs> He, it's not the band Tesla. It's the company Tesla. <laughs> I was gonna say he he does. <laughs> when I said that I looked at hey, yeah. I looked at John immediately because I knew I knew he Excuse would make me. it. He'd um, straighten me up. Sunny Radio Morning Show fact checker. I need to let you know that that's not accurate. But he certainly could own the band. Oh, he Tesla. could. He could be the new lead singer. He, he could just, if he wanted. Write them all checks and say, "Hand me the mic." Yep. Yeah, exactly. Was this day in 1846? The saxophone is patented. Okay. By Antoine, we call him Adolf, Antoine Joseph Sax. Hmm. Oh, see, I never thought of that. That's why it's the saxophone. It's Mr. literally Sax. named after him. That's cool. That's yeah. Very cool. There you go. And hey, kids, don't forget, and I'm sure they teach this in uh, grade school anymore, uh, if you are going interested in playing that, uh, practice safe sax. <laughs> 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 don't, wow. use somebody, don't use somebody uh, else's read. <laughs> wow. It's woodwind, isn't it? Yeah, clean those spit valves. Yeah. Holy moly, Rocky. It was 1820. And this was a big game changer. Does you ever wonder, like, who was the first one to drink this or eat that? Right. Or yeah, whatever? yeah, yeah. Well, here's a great example, and somebody was smart enough to write it down. This day, 1820, Colonel Robert Gibbon proves to the country that. Tomatoes are non-poisonous okay. nice. by eating one on the steps of the courthouse in Salem, New Jersey. And then he died five minutes later. No, but up to that point, really, people thought, yeah, don't touch right. that. Don't touch that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, the, so, you know, the colonel went, you know what? I'm doing Let's it. Let's just see what's up here. Right. Diving in. It was 1870. U.S. Congress creates the first federal holidays. Hmm. And there were but four of them. Okay. New Year's Day. Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Independence Day, baby. Okay. Nice. Yeah, which is uh, coming up, what, this week? What, oh, Sunday? It's on, yeah, Sunday. 4th of July. Uh, and by the way, those four original holidays were initially applicable only to federal employees. Oh, really? Nobody yes. else can celebrate that. Huh? You're just the general public, you're going to work, baby. Uh, there are now, uh, as of last week with the advent of Juneteenth becoming a federal holiday, we now have 11 of them. Nice. Wow. 11. And now most people <clears throat> get those days off. Not Dan. We don't let him leave. <laughs> He's here all the time. Yeah. My leg chain's getting rusty. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get something for the chain. Another bowl of <laughs> porridge, please. <laughs> Thanks, put your Dan. put your ointment on <laughs> yeah, and calm good. down. Yeah, quit your whining, Ferris. <laughs> you quit rusting our chains. Come on, <laughs> you know how expensive these chains not are. Not for you two. I'd just be wandering the streets, just uh, aimlessly. <laughs> That's it. Selling pencils on a street corner on Phillips Avenue. <laughs> still do that right on. well i did before you guys picked me up i'm glad we got you well thank you for the update sir <laughs> absolutely it's the john and heidi show bonus hour with dan ferris brought to you in part by reaper arsenal coffee mm, smells, smells like freedom, freedom. 
Are you ready to travel again? Join us for the best week of your life. The Sands is an immersive Gen X era experience for five sun-filled and fun-filled days at Dreams and Secrets, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. Enjoy music from Billy Idol, Cheap Trick, Little River Band, The Hooters, Tesla, Wang Chung, Firehouse, Honeymoon Suite, CNC Music Factory, The Jets, and more. Make plans to join us for The Sands. October 25th through 30th. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. And what do you find interesting on this fine Monday? I stumbled over this story and I'm going, what? In fact, I was talking to Heidi about it uh, off the air uh, earlier this morning. Did she also say what? She did (laughs) because we both thought this man had passed. Not only is he still alive, he's still up to his old shenanigans again. Remember uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker? Oh, yeah. Evangelists? Yeah. yeah. And all the shenanigans they got into with yeah. their mansions. They had air-conditioned dog houses for their Jim pets. Baker is still alive? Jim Baker's not only still alive, he's uh, he's uh, just been ordered to pay more restitution on another oh. scam lawsuit. I could have swore he's he He's involved in another one now? In or yes, this is old right resolutions? Now. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Associated <laughs> Press, Dateline, Jefferson City, Missouri. Uh, Jim Baker and his Southwestern Missouri Church uh, will have to pay a restitution of $156,000 to settle a lawsuit that accuses the TV pastor of falsely claiming that a health supplement he was hustling on his show could cure the coronavirus. Really? Okay. If you sent in a donation of 80 to okay. $100, sure. he'd send you this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, and for the record, it did not cure the coronavirus? <laughs> Is that what we're gathering uh, here? It was billed as Silver Solution. Oh, wow. Yep, the settlement also prohibits Baker and Morningside Church Productions, Inc. from advertising or selling a silver solution to diagnose, prevent, mitigate, treat, or cure any disease or illness, regardless of what it is. Huh. So, yeah, I read this and I'm Up going, with this guy. number one, Jim's still out there. Number two, he's, he's still, still, scamming people. He's still scamming. Still being Jim Baker. So, wow. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You kind of... Got to give him credit. He's a self-starter, go-getter. Yes, he go. is. Self-made man. So, yeah, I just, uh, I found that darn interesting. Yeah, that's that really interesting. And that is why we call this stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for the morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Mr. Dan Ferris back in the uh, studio right now is for his final break. I might actually go to Kaladi's for lunch today. Sounds like a good thing to do. Is that an invite or are you just making a personal statement? I'm just saying. (laughs) Anybody listening wants to join me, you can. But Dan, Heidi, you guys are not welcome. (laughs) I'm just kidding. You guys are welcome. We should should make a day of it. It's a warm and fuzzy celebration at the zoo. What's going on there? At the zoo. Because another little baby monkey is born. Oh my gosh, I love monkeys. Not just any monkey, a colobus monkey. Okay. Bringing the grand total to four. Okay. In the world? Yeah. Or just here? No, here. Yeah, just the entire here. world, John. <laughs> <laughs> and Sioux Falls just happens to now have all four of them. <laughs> which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Actually, the proud parents are Mahal and Gonzo. Really? Yes, just gave birth to a little baby. Actually, it was uh, just a couple weeks back. But here's the skinny now. The reason I bring this up is it's time to name that monkey baby. Okay. Oh. Folks that head up things at the zoo, or uh, they got a little naming contest going. So, so oh, we fun. could name a monkey. You can submit your your favorite monkey name. Oh, That's <clears throat> absolutely a uh, a true story for the newest member. Now it's going to culminate actually into a fundraiser because boy, when it comes to marketing, nobody out markets the Great Plains Zoo. There you go. <laughs> Heidi Snickers. I don't know why you guys are laughing. It's <laughs> because <laughs> it's the zoo. <laughs> It might be the only zoo in the world with more dead animals than alive animals. And they have the only four 
call the best monkeys on the planet. So. They do. <clears throat> and, and a lot of taxidermy That's a big deal. animals, which is actually kind of interesting. All right, here's the skinny. Yeah. So you can name the monkey or at least submit what you think the monkey name oh. should be. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the Great Plains Zoo is going to be holding a silent auction Thursday night, August 5th. Oh, wow. That's a long ways. That is part of their Expedition Zoo Falls fundraiser, both silent auction uh, attendees and those who participate online will be given the opportunity to submit a bid to name the new. So you actually have to pay to submit. Was this, pay this to monkey's submit. already born, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the thing so was born. Uh, they couldn't call him till August. <laughs> it was hey. born born May thirtieth. You monkey! Oh wow, May thirtieth. Yeah, by August. Oh, I don't know if you guys know this. Some people actually come up with names before. The monkey is born. <laughs> it's I, just I, a plan. I have nothing to do with any of this. Yeah, we've got a daughter that was, uh, she, she's turned 20 on Friday. We're, we're still working on coming up with a name for her. I haven't decided. I'm just, you know, when my son was born, we had not decided on a name. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. We have a you. nephew who yeah. almost went home from the hospital without a name. No, me and the wife were still at odds about yeah. what it should be, but here's what happened. Flipped a coin. <clears throat> no. <laughs> nope. The nurse goes, and okay, and the baby's name. And I said, "Yeah, we 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 really don't know." And she says, "Well, we we need a name to put on the bassinet and the little armband and thing just for ID purposes." And I'm just playing around, you know. I've been up for a while. It was a difficult birth. The misses had been a C-section, and it's just it's just crazy time. And I said, "Hey, just go with Ronald Reagan." Oh, and she laughed. Well, I go down to the little baby <laughs> viewing zoo a while later, and I look right there in the best. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Oh, I love so that. So your son's uh, name is officially Ronald Reagan? N- no. No, it wasn't no. on the birth certificate well, and stuff. Not on the birth certificate. Okay. No. I love that, But it's though. a great story. It is a Ronald great story. Ferris. Yeah, and we had a name before before the day was uh, okay. finished. Uh, everybody loved it. Uh, Zeus Bogart is my son's name. Oh, I Zeus love that name. That's, I, mm. I kind of would have stuck with Ronald Reagan. It stands Reagan. out. His birth certificate says Luke Anthony. So Luke Anthony, Zeus Bogart, Ronald Luke Reagan, Ferris. Luke Anthony, Ronald Reagan, Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan's his confirmation name. <laughs> his ID takes up two pages. I just love that, though. I go, hey, for a few yeah, hours there, uh, Luke, you were Ronald Reagan. And says, awesome. He goes, yeah, I'm down with that. Love so. that. Well, Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Uh, wow, thanks for you letting me just, just meander aimlessly here. It's, it's fun. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very fun. <laughs> uh, today's program, once again, brought to you in part by Sioux Falls fireworks.org Kaboom If you're looking for special prices on some pretty amazing products, check out the website radiosavings.com We're adding new items all the time so you might find something cool and you can save money when you buy stuff at radiosavings.com One other thing many people like, many of the products you'll find at radiosavings.com are made in the USA Good quality items at great prices radiosavings.com We can save you more Radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. And we have Patty Brooks joining us. She's with the American Red Cross. How are you doing, Patty? I'm doing wonderful today, John. How are you? I am fantastic, and I'm excited to be working with you guys next week already. Holy cow, it's sneaking up a little over a week away. We've got a blood drive happening at the Empire Mall in Sioux Falls. Now, you guys do blood drives all the time, but this is kind of the first time we've really done this. So when you do a blood drive, what what do you kind of expect for this? Do you How many people usually come to an event like this? Well, we are super excited. This will be our first time working with the Empire Mall and partnered with them and hosting a blood drive right outside of Applebee's on that part, that wing of the mall. And what we're really looking to do that day is spill as many blood donor appointments as we can. So the events will run July 6th and 7th at the Empire Mall from noon to 6 both days, and we have about 30 appointments available each day, and that is our goal is to get 30 folks in who will donate units of blood to help with our severe blood shortage that we have right now in the U.S. And it's coming up next Tuesday and Wednesday, the 6th and 7th of July. It'll be here before you know it. And you can schedule your appointment right now at redcrossblood.org. And if people want to just walk up, can they walk up and donate as well? Or is that kind of frowned upon? Well, with COVID, that did change the way we were able to handle walk-in appointments. So now it is preferred that everybody make their appointment ahead of time. Like you said, redcrossblood.org. You can do that on your computer or on your phone. And all you do is you need to type in your zip code. And it'll bring up all the blood um, donation sites within your area. So if the one happening on July 6th and 7th is not going to work for you, 
We offer many blood donation sites um, throughout the Sioux Falls area, through Lincoln County and Minnehaha. So just type in your zip code and get the one that's closest to you and sign up online. And there's also an option what's called Rapid Pass. If you want to answer the medical history and health questions ahead of time, you can do that either on the mobile app of Red Cross Blood. You can download it on your phone or on the website. And that will save you about 10 or 15 minutes during your appointment because you already have all those questions answered and ready to turn over to the folks who check you in. That makes it a whole lot quicker. So if you're wanting to do this maybe over your lunch hour or sneaking away from work and you need to get back, that's a really good way to do it. Absolutely. We want to make it as easy and efficient for blood donors as possible. So typically an entire blood donation process, your appointment will take about an hour. The actual giving of blood takes around 15 minutes. But because of the blood history, the, the medical checks they do, and this is also a little recovery process. We want to make sure we give you some juice or some water and some cookies after you donate your blood and make sure that you're feeling well enough to leave the blood site before you go home and drive your car. So I would plan on about an hour to donate blood. And again, it's coming up next week. It's next Tuesday, next Wednesday, but don't wait until next week to sign up. Uh, if you do, we're fine with that too, but then you're going to have fewer options to choose from. And if you go right now, there's plenty of different times that are available, so it's a great time to do it. Redcrossblood.org. And if you just type in your zip code, and the thing that's nice about that, Patty, there are people who listen from other parts of the country, so even if they're going, there's no way I'm going to make it to the Empire Mall, they're doing blood drives all over the nation right now, and they can find one right near them no matter where they happen to be, right? Absolutely. Just enter in any zip code, and it will tell you a blood drive that's happening in your local community. It'll provide the dates, times, and the option to schedule the appointment right online. And what's nice about Red Cross, we, we provide 40% of the blood supply across the entire United States. And we ship our blood. We have a way to transport that to wherever it's needed. So folks in Philadelphia or California or New Jersey, anybody can donate, and the blood blood supply will go where it's most needed in the United States. Well, thank you so much for all that you guys do year-round, and thank you for doing this blood drive at the Empire Mall next week, and, and we were invited to be a part of it, so thanks for the invite. Thanks for being a part of it. We're so excited to get this kicked off and running, and all the new donors will have us at the Empire Mall next week. Thank it, you. It's coming up next week, July 6th, July 7th. All of the details at redcrossblood.org, and I've got a link to it at facebook.com slash sunnyradio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. I kind of feel like I've been talking about bettercreditcards.com forever now, but we want to mention that bettercreditcards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website bettercreditcards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner brought to you by Reaper Arsenal. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big critters, too. Like to cook them up in a tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Critter Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded like a little air raid siren there, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. I do impression. A lot of people don't know that. Hey! Well, heartfelt Monday morning snappy salute off the well starts bring the Ranger Dan cap to you too. What's happening over there, Tater? Don't care. Hi, Dan. Ranger Dan. How are you there, girl? You're Fantastic. Did you find a little something new with your hair there? I did, actually. Oh, are you? <laughs> 23 shades of gorgeous. I <laughs> hey, you know, I think it was uh, uh, last week we uh, we tripped over a little little rabbit news, didn't we? Talking about some. Oh, yeah. Some yes, we did. Week. Yeah. Rabbits, there's this thing a lot of people have been noticing. There's just kind of rabbit. Rabbit Rabbits population everywhere. exploding all over uh, all over Sioux Falls. Do what you can about it. And again, I think I may have mentioned. Uh, found out uh, found out uh, the the uh, the hard way a few weeks back. It it is illegal to discharge firearms within the city. Apparently, of who knew? Yeah. I'm doing. I'm just doing a little rabbit hunting over there at Terrace Park. Well, too. <laughs> Such a bad guy. <laughs> do, do, do. So anyway, it kind of reminded me of a story, you know, and way, way back when I was just uh, just a little fella, you know, I always wasn't a ranger. Right. But well, uh, yeah. part of my inspiration was, uh, you know, growing up uh, growing up around the system and, uh, 
area, which technically is uh, is France. I took a summer job once at a little pet shop. Up okay, there, a little, cool. little pet store. It was a pet store actually in a specialty cafe, a little operation called Critters and Fritters. So anyway, I was <laughs> standing there one Saturday <laughs> afternoon and this... Boy, this sweet, sweet little girl comes in, a little frilly dress, and little bows in her hair. She just, she almost looked like a little Norman Rockwell magazine. Okay. Cover. She may be, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 years old, something like that. Anyway, I said, yes, can I help you there, little miss? And she goes, well, I'm, I'm looking for a bunny rabbit. I said, well, uh-huh. we got lots of those. Factor in back, come with me. We'll, we'll show you around here. We have several different kinds. Nice, nice collection of bunnies here, different sizes, different colors, and Maybe hopping around, maybe laying down. I pointed out a little tiny, tiny bunny over in Cornerville cage there. I said, this one here is a mini Rex. A mini Rex. They're smaller, but they're very calm. They're very quiet. Be a good choice for for someone like you who seems to be pretty calm in nature. And then moving on, uh, moving on, I showed her another one. Have you ever heard of a Polish? That is a breed of rabbit. I have not. A Polish yeah. rabbit, pretty cool. They're larger and very cuddly, like I told her. I said they can be very affectionate, too. In fact, think of it as like a big teddy bear, but with longer ears, because that's right. kind of what they are. Then you got your little uh, little lop-eared French. Yes. Bunny, bunny rabbit here. I said, you know, those ears don't point up like most rabbits. They'll just kind of lay there, almost like a basset hound, but it's, it's a bunny rabbit. Right. It's fascinating. Showed a couple more. and <laughs> She's standing there. I said, so, mm, what uh, What do you think? That pretty much covers it. Do you think one of these uh, rabbits will work, work out for you? Or maybe, uh, maybe you'd like to see a couple more. And that sweet little girl just put her hands on her hips, gave a little shrug, and said, you know, mm, I don't think my snake really cares. <laughs> Aww. Well, that's all the time we have today, little Radio Rangers. I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed one of the stories as much as I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Until next Critter Corner, this Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and, if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, June 28th, 2021. The S&P 500 moved up to set a new all-time high Friday after weaker-than-expected inflation data relieved the fear of inflation. The core PCE price index grew at 0.5% month over month, a tenth slower than expected, despite signs of rapidly rising prices elsewhere in the economy. The bad news is that on a year-over-year basis, core consumer-level inflation accelerated 3.4%, and shows no sign of slowing. This week, the market will be focused on the labor data. There's a raft of labor data due out throughout the week, with the most important on Friday. Friday is the non-farm payroll report, a report that has left much for the market to desire the past two readings. Another month of weak job creation may not be enough to derail a rally, but it will add to the wall of worry. And a much weaker than expected report could derail the rally. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.